Alrighty, I want to show you how you can do this really fun and cool text effect just using Canva. This whole graphic was something I made right inside Canva. First, I'll show you how to do the text effect because I know that's what you're really after. But then since we're here, I'll show you how I made the entire graphic in case you want to replicate anything like this yourself. If you want to make some sort of poster or a social media post or a really effective graphic for an email banner or a website or a sales page, this is your go-to. So hi, if we have not met before, it is a pleasure to have you here. And my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who is obsessed with helping small business owners utilize programs just like Canva so that they can create incredible brands, incredible designs that help to grow their business rather than pulling them down and sucking up all their time because that happens too. But today I wanna to show you how you can do this really cool text effect right inside Canva. And it's called kind of extrude. It's like we're extruding, we're stretching, we're giving a really long shadow to this text. I actually remember when I first started my design career, like over a decade ago, this effect was really, really in and I have a feeling that it's coming back. So we are jumping right on this. So first I want you to open up a new design inside Canva. I've just opened up a social media post design. Whatever size design you're wanting to create with the text is what I would open up. So if you're doing an email banner, open that up. If you're doing a social media post, open that up. Once you've got the new design page open, I'm just gonna add a new page to my design so we can start from scratch. I want you to go to the apps feature. So Canva has a ton of apps that are included in the program. Some you have to pay for, some you don't. This one's a free one. If you go to the app section on the side panel right here, you can see a whole range of apps. You might be able to just scroll and find whatever you're looking for here, but you can also search for the app you'd want. So I'm just going to get you to write extrude and you can see this one called type extrude. So if I click on this app, then it's going to bring up this little toolbox kind of section for us to type into. So pretty much we create our text here and then we insert it into our design. I cannot, now that I've inserted this into my design, I can't go on and edit it except for inside this program so you can see now that I've actually clicked on this it's opened up the editing features for this piece of text otherwise we're just starting from scratch in here so firstly I want you to type in the text you want to do if you're doing two lines of text I recommend doing this process two different times to get two different separate boxes to work with so for me I'll write do something different let's go design is and then I'm going to do the next line is fun design is. All right, now we've got to change our font. So this does not have all of the Canva font suite. So your brand font may not be in here, but if you click on the font option here, you can see all the different options and you can search for it as you might need to. So I use Poppins for my brand font. So I've got that here. If your brand font isn't here, I just recommend scrolling and finding something that's similar-ish to what your look is. Like if you've got a beautiful kind of serify kind of font, use this one. If you've got a beautiful kind of handwritten font, use this one. I do recommend kind of the bolder and bigger the font is, the more effective this effect will be more effective this effect will be that's great um so make sure you do something that's kind of bold rather than kind of too dainty because it might get I think the effect will get lost on us I'm going to click on this one for now do something a little bit different once you've selected your font you can select it and then you have to press back to add to, to enter back into the editor next I want to choose my coloring so for me I wanted to use my brand colors Today, I'm gonna to use a slightly different tone of my brand color so you can see it different. I'm gonna use a light green and then a dark green. I like to do my shadow a little bit darker. You could reverse this, whatever it is, just make sure it's readable. And if you've got a brand, make sure it is on brand. If you don't you have a brand, but you're wanting to have a brand, I actually have a free challenge called the Seriously in Business Challenge. I think you might really love it. It's three videos that you can watch totally for free. Binge them or watch them over a few days. And inside there, you will learn the designer's process to creating a really robust brand, a brand that reflects your business, a brand that's going to stand the test of time, a brand that's not just a copycat of everything you see out there. So make sure you hit the link in the description if you'd like to join that. All right, so you can see here I've got some options. I can change the thickness of the outline. So I pretty much can go to nothing to really quite thick or somewhere in the middle, I like kind of about here. And then I can, can change which direction I want my shadow to go. So right now it's kind of going down to the, to the, to the right. I can choose if I want it to go up, straight up, straight down, straight left or right, any of these options. I personally like down to the right, so I'm gonna do that. Next up is our extrude length. This is where the magic happens because in, honestly, you can kind of create this inside the text effects inside Canva, but the extrude is where this app really shines. So if I grab this little extrude option, I can make this long, long, log, log, or even longer all the way down to here. And this just looks so cool. Once you're happy with your design, you then press add to design and it is right there ready to go. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger. You can't edit the colors or do anything much with it, but you can go in here and change it if you need to. So if I need to write design R, I can then press update element and it would then update this element and change it. Then if you are doing two lines of text like I have here, I've got Jackie and Norton on separate lines. I could actually grab this text box and duplicate it and then go back into my panel over here and change the wording to whatever I want it to be. So for me, I'm gonna write fun, press update element, and it's actually just gonna update this one that's already changed. So I can have this effect already applied. I don't have to go in and change all these settings again. I've already got it done there, which is so much easier. All right, I'm gonna align this here, drag and select, 
make it super big. I personally love it when the design, when, when like the, the shadow comes off the page, that's my favorite. Um, but you can kind of do it however you want to, because this is your design. I'm just do it something like this. Beautiful. So this is already looking great. You could then add a colored background to this if you wanted to, whatever your brand looks like, go to town. And so if you want to stop there, you are all done. Or if you'd like me to show you how I made this effect, I'll do that as well. So for me, I have my brand elements and everything saved into my brand kit. So I'm going to navigate to my brand kit over at the side. This is a Canva Pro feature. If I go to my elements, you can see down here, I've got a graphics and I've got this really cool background, a texture I've made. I've actually got a tutorial showing you how I made this. So I'm going to link that here if you want to create your own grainy gradient texture. Um, but in essence, I'm going to add this into the background, right click, replace background. And that's already adding a lot of depth and funness to the design. Funness. But if I double click on here, I can actually move it around too. So I'm going to actually maybe rotate it a little bit. So it's a little bit lighter. Perfect. And then to add images of me, I'm going to go into my photo section of my brand kit where I've got some of my brand photos. And I might select um, this one here because it looks really fun. I'm going to do the background remover. Fun fact for you, if you hold down shift and hold on the, on the circular handles at the side, you actually can crop your design like this rather than having to go here and here and here. So I like that feature. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to make myself a lot larger. If I press command and my back square bracket, I can actually put it to being behind my design. So behind my text, I can change the layers. If you don't want to use a keyboard shortcut for that, you can just go to position, toggle over to the layers panel and you can move yourself around or whatever your graphic is of. Now I'm going to actually press edit while I've got this image selected and go to the duotone feature and I can click on any of these. doesn't really matter. I'm going to change both of the colors in this duotone to some of the greens I'm using. So I'm going to just use the eyedropper tool to select the green and make it a little bit lighter just by dragging it diagonally up and do the same thing with my shadow. Grab the darkest, maybe make it a little bit darker again. Amazing. And this kind of just now fits like it feels like it's fitting into the background a little bit. It's kind of not taking away from the text here. I'm then going to duplicate this image, duplicate, drag it over here. And I'm going to go to edit again. And instead of going to duo turn, I'm going to go to blur, select whole image, not brush and drag my intensity up. Press back arrow, make this nice and large. And again, put this in the background and I might just play with the um, transparency here. Like so, maybe lift that up even more. And that my friends is how I created this image. It's just me, blurry me and a background that's a little bit gradient and fun. I don't like this one quite as much because it's not purple to be honest, um, but I think this is looking really, really great. And I hope this inspires you to something that you might be able to create using that text extrude feature. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you're going to create. And if you are needing help with your branding, make sure that you make sure you hit subscribe because I share a lot of incredible tips here, but also check out that free Seriously in Business Challenge. Link is in the description and I know you're going to love it. All right, I'll see you next week for another tutorial. Bye.